All right, so if I'm going to go ahead and graph this next one, the next thing we want to identify is basically all I want you guys to have is the parent graph graphed. All right? And if you guys can just remember the logarithmic graph, regardless of what the base is, is going to have an x-intercept at 1. All right? And it's going to have a vertical asymptote. So it's going to look something like this. Okay? And again, guys, all I want you to be focused on when dealing with logarithms is that the x-intercept is at 1. Now, let's look at the transformations. The transformations is we have this negative here. What does the negative tell us about the graph? It's reflecting over which axis? x-axis. So now, I have the exact same graph, but now the graph is being reflected over the x-axis. Does everybody see that? Does everybody see how I reflected? I literally just took the graph and reflected over the x-axis. Now it's going to look something like this. The other transformation I have is x plus 1, which is going to tell me to shift my graph one unit to the left. So now I just take this little dashed line, I move it over here, I, knew my, I take my new vertical asymptote and move that right here, and then I have my graph look something like that. Okay. So the best thing I like to do is reflect it first and then apply my transformations left, right, up, down. Okay, And then you guys can see that's what your graph would look like. So the difference, basically, on what we have learned today is from logarithms, I'm